It's Emergency Medical Service Personnel Appreciation Week, and one Vermilion County teen was able to say a special thank you to the team that took care of him a few months ago. Lily Pesavento has more. Lily. Well, Mike, Gavin Jax was just a normal teen sledding with his friends last January when the unthinkable happened. Gavin Jax had no idea that a little winter fun and a sledding accident would land him in the hospital. The ground was frozen and his, uh, the, the, what he was sitting on had flipped over and he came down on, his, on the back of his head. After the accident, Gavin says he didn't feel well, which is common in head injuries. After a while, I just got a really bad headache and uh, I don't really remember much just waking up and going back to sleep and throwing up a lot. Gavin's mother, Tina, recalls coming to the realization that this was serious. Her son needed medical attention fast. The Jacks took their son to Union Hospital in Clinton. Unresponsive, like not taught being able to answer questions, eyes rolling in the back of his head. Um, so we got him here. He had to be help, assisted in. He couldn't, his balance was off. After running tests at the hospital, staff decided he needed to be taken to Riley Children's Hospital in Indianapolis. And the quickest way was through Lifeline helicopter. We had snow on the roads, mm -hmm. so the alternative would have been a, a, an ambulance ride when time was extremely critical to get him right. the care that he needed. Gavin was diagnosed with a traumatic brain injury. After waking up in the ICU, he began his road to recovery. So we spent a lot of time, we're back and forth to Riley and the neurologists at Riley Children's Hospital and uh, speech and language pathology, physical therapy. The brain is kind of an amazing, it controls everything. He doesn't remember his first helicopter ride. So Lifeline took him back into the air and he was able to say thank you to his trauma team in person. I got to meet the lady that um, helped me when I first got here to Union and also um, some people that helped me in the back whenever I was in the helicopter. Just uh, reassuring so to show that I was in good hands. This was a special meeting for Lifeline manager Rob Avenette, who says happy endings are usually few and far between. Uh, he got to see from a different perspective sitting up front versus laying down in the back. So. It's always a plus to see, especially kids, up walking around after they could have had some, you know, there's so many traumatic things going on. Gavin has made a full recovery, and the Jacks couldn't be more thankful to the EMS, Lifeline, and trauma teams who saved their son. I don't know that they always get that appreciation they deserve. We can't, we can't thank them enough. Um, everybody that we interacted with was just mm -hmm. extremely helpful. Mm -hmm. Gavin is back to living a life like a normal teenager, and he says his second trip in the Lifeline helicopter, along with meeting his care team, was something he'll never forget. Mike. Absolutely, and thanks to all those personnel who did such a fantastic job.